Okay, let's thank the Lord. Amen. 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 For the Lord is good. And His mercy endures from forever. And we honor Him on today. As He allowed us to come back one more time. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. When I think about Amen, the goodness of the Lord. Amen. And at times that we can take life for granted. But somewhere, somebody didn't wake up this morning. Yeah, that's right, Pastor. Somewhere, somebody didn't have use of their limbs. Yeah. They didn't have use of their voice. They didn't have use of their mind. Somewhere, that's somebody is right. in a lot worse position than we are right now. Yes, yeah. sir. Amen. So that's a lot to be We're a blessed people. For. That's right, Pastor. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. We don't stand. Amen. And go into prayer. And ask the Lord to bless the teaching. Amen. So glad to see you. Amen. All in the house. Amen. 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 This is a good subject we're teaching on tonight. Uh, uh, optical illusion. Yes. And uh, I'll try to be good. But I saw a little bit of that today when I was driving around on my job. And I just leave it like that. It's okay. All right. Let's just lift our hands and our voices. <laughs> Father, we thank you. Thank you. And Lord, we give you the glory. Yes. We praise you, Lord God, for your goodness, your kindness, and your long suffering. Thank you, Lord. God, as we gather together here, God, one more time, to glorify your great name, asking God that you give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the things of God. Father, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you will pour out your spirit. God, that you will, Lord God, lead us and guide us. God, that you would infiltrate this room. Hallelujah. Hallelujah yes, to God. God. Father, we thank, thank you, Lord, thank for safe travel and mercy. Jesus, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Because we have to you open up the eyes thank of our you, God. understanding Hallelujah. that we might be enlightened. Yes. That we might know the hope of your calling. Yes. Give us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we need yes. to serve you yes. and to give you the glory. Yes. Bless those who are watching Jesus. by Facebook Live. We pray, Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, as we're in your presence. We ask God that you bless Denise and Moss and her family yes. in the name of the Lord. Thank we ask God that you will strengthen our hearts, yes. strengthen our minds, that you get the glory out of our lives Jesus. as we look towards you. God, we appreciate you and we honor yes. you for all that you're about to do. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' Hallelujah. name we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. As we endeavor to continue, amen, on this series of six lens to correct the vision. Amen. amen. Thank you, the Lord. Amen. That I want to go into this year to being able to be able to see. Amen. amen. Taken from Proverbs 20 and 29 and 18. That without vision, the people perish. Amen. 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 You know how many people, amen, who are, are perishing, amen, you got my key? Who are perishing, amen, and not making it because of uh, lack of vision. Yes. Amen. And uh, who, who um, are looking at things through different lenses. Than through the spiritual lens that God wants us to look through. Amen. 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 And so we're thanking the Lord that we're able to, to be able to see. Amen. Amen. And to get clearer vision on where we're going. Amen. Amen. Right? Because if, if you don't know where you're going, as I said this morning, the Bible says the blind shall lead the blind. And you both can fall in a ditch. And so, so many people, amen, so many people, so many different religions in the world today. Oh, man. So many people, amen, uh, speaking things that are, are not biblical truth. That's right, Pastor. And so if they're blinded and they're, they're walking good. and then you're following them, you're going to end up in a ditch. This ain't no time to be in a ditch. Right. Right. No. Not time is too close. Right. The Lord is soon to come back. Amen. 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 We got to be able to see where we're going. Yeah. We got to be able to see what we're doing. Yes. Amen. 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 Not walking in, car in carnality. That's right. right. Having our eyes focused on, amen, the things of the flesh. Yes, amen. Sir. But having our eyes on the things things of the Spirit, amen. in the name of the Lord. Amen. So we have uh, been talking about the different types of, of vision. We went over nearsighted, how you can be nearsighted, how you can uh, see things uh, up close, yes, sir. but can't see far away, far away. how you can be farsighted, mm -hmm. see things far away, but miss things right underneath your nose, mm -hmm. yes, sir. how you can have, last uh, week we talked about tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
only seeing what you want to see. Uh -huh. You have no peripheral vision. Oh my. You just tunnel in on what you want to see. That's a dangerous thing. Amen. Amen. I heard somebody say one time that they was going through a tunnel. And they said there's light at the end of the tunnel. Uh -huh. They were going for the tunnel, but that light was a train. <laughs> you, got, you got to know. You got to know. You better know. You got to know where you're going. Amen. Amen. And to those of you who are watching by Facebook Live, as we're streaming live to you, Amen. We're going to make sure that we're 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 not as laughing and quiet as possible because mm -hmm. we know you want to get this as a Bible teaching, and you're using it as an instruction to reach others, Amen. But uh, but uh, sometimes, Amen. A good laugh is better than medicine. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That's Bible. Amen. That's right. Stick to the scriptures. Amen. Right. Got to stick to the scriptures. You stick to the scriptures. You work out all right. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. And so and so, we want to go and look at, Amen. As we talked about how the uh, vision is important because uh, if you don't have vision, you're gonna perish. Yes, sir. And vision is brought on by how much light that you have, right? And uh, that light shining. Into your eyes. The yeah. Bible says that the eye be light, then the whole body is going to be light. Yes, sir. But if the eye be darkened, uh -huh. then how dark is the body? Uh -huh. That's why you can't have just a little bit of darkness. Uh -huh. Glory be to God. Yeah. Because a little bit of darkness is a whole lot of darkness. It sure is. The light shine in the darkness. That's right. And the darkness comprehended the yeah. That's why the more light that we let in, light. God, Jesus, I'm the light of the world. That's right. Yeah. The more light that we let in, the more we're able to see where we're going. Yeah. That's why the Bible says this, Sister Lake, the steps of a good man. They're ordered by the Lord. Sure. His word is a lamp unto my feet. Yeah. It's a light unto my path. Amen. And so the more light we get, the more we can see clearly. Yeah. Yeah. And so um, I told you this series of design, amen, that we're going to walk into this year. Full of light. Amen, Amen, Pastor. Yes, sir. Knowing where we're going, knowing how we're going to get there. Right? The Bible says that the just shall live by faith. Right? For the things which we can see are what? But the things that we cannot see are what? Eternal. Eternal. So you're walking by a different set of rules and a different set of vision. Yes. Amen. And so, Amen, I knew that when I. Uh, I think I hit about 40 years old. About 40. About 40 years old. About 40 years old. Hey. About 40 years old. Been about 40 years old. I went to work one day. Those of you who wear glasses or who, who had good eyesight and went to horn with glasses. About 40, about 40 years old, I went to work. And I looked at my computer screen. And the day before, my computer screen, I could see fine. But right after that, right after that, I went in one day and looked at the screen, and I could barely see. And so I knew that something was happening with my vision. Yes, sir. Now, the problem is that some of y'all has got something wrong with your vision, but you don't want to go to a, what's the word? <laughs> optometrist. You don't want to go to an optometrist. Mm. Knowing <laughs> that you can't see. Well. Knowing, knowing, Malik, knowing, knowing that you can't see. How many of us uh, need to go to the eye doctor? <laughs> so, so here's a question before we go any further. What is the reason why or the problem you don't want to go to the eye doctor? Don't wear glasses. Don't want to wear glasses. Don't wear glasses. I think you're old. So the thing about it is that, okay, you don't want people to know that you're old, right? But if you don't get glasses, they're going to know that you're old anyway. Right? <laughs> 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 And so they're going to know by the way you act. We want to be people that can see and know where we're going. Amen. That's right, Pastor. Amen. We want people able to see and know where we're going. Amen. So um, 
Tonight, we're going to take a look at optical illusion. Here's what optical illusion is. Optical illusion is something that deceives the eye. Yes, something sir. that deceives the eye by appearing to be something other than it is. I'll say it again. Optical illusion is something that deceives the eye by appearing to be other than what it is. Something other than what it is. In other words, it's sending a false signal to your brain. Amen. Right. Because when you see the light reflects to the back of the eye. And when it reflects to the back of the eye, it goes to the cornea. And then it sends a signal to your brain. Sure. And the brain sends a signal back to the lens of your eye and captivate the picture. Amen. Right? And so we have optical illusion. There's a wrong signal going to the brain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's something wrong. What appears to be is not what it really is. It's an illusion. Let me just give you a little few examples. Uh, one of the illusions that you see that is illusion is a lot of times illusion would grab your attention. Right? One of the things that's in an illusion is you ever seen the three shell game? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they put the uh -huh. thing in there and you like that. Mm -hmm. Well, they're distracted and you, you won't really see where the ball's going. Mm -hmm. Or they call it three card, whatever. And they would deceive you by sleight of the hand. Yeah. Right. And you wouldn't really see where the card was going. They picked, you always potentially pick the wrong card. Yeah. Because it's an illusion to show you something to grab your attention. And mostly in a life when you see uh, people doing magic tricks, it's an illusion. Mm -hmm. and, and if you pay attention, they got to get your attention to look at something else. And they capture you because you're looking at something else. They give you something that's not really that which is true. And then your brain believes what you see. Amen. Amen. Right? Your good. brain believes what you see. And so the devil, the devil, our adversary, the devil, Satan, he yes. uses an illusion, he uses an illusion, and he uses fear. Right. Because he'll show you things. Amen. Yeah, the devil will show you things. Right? He'll show you things uh, that are not really there, or not really what you think that they yes, are. Sir. He'll show them to you. Right? And uh, we're, we're not going to get into a whole lot of it, because I don't want y'all telling everybody what the devil shows you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> hey, Cousin Brenda, come on in. And so, um, um, he uses illusions and fear to stop us from achieving all that God wants us to be. Right, amen. And he will use illusion. He will show you something or tell you something that's not necessarily true. Amen. He might give you a little bit of truth. That's why the devil is. He just gives you a little bit of truth. And the rest of it is a lie. It's deception. Deceptions happen with just a little bit of truth. Right? Like some of us went to the doctor. And the doctor uh, gave us a bad report. And then the devil, the first thing he spoke to you in the doctor's office, the doctor told him that you're going to die. Yeah. <laughs> That's the good. devil said, you're going to die. Yeah. It's over. That's or he'll good. tell you, you know, they're going to find something. When you go back for your lab work, they're going to find something in your lab work, and he can tell you that it's cancer. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And, and you'll be scared up. Yes, sir. he have you in fear. You won't be able to sleep. Won't be able, can't eat. Uh huh. Yeah. Come on, Because he, he even gave you an illusion. That's right. 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 And then right. you're half grouchy. Yeah. Half mean because you're worried. Sure. Right. And then when you go to the doctor, the doctor say, oh, your lab work was fine. <laughs> and then you're thinking, well, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I did all that word for nothing. There you go, Pastor. Because yeah. yeah. he gave you an illusion. And he showed you yourself laying in the coffin. That's how the devil does. That's good. He paints a very vivid picture for you. Yeah. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? Amen. He's a liar and the father of a liar. Yes, he is. He's the lie. He's the originator of a lie. Yes, he is, Pastor. So no one can lie worse than him. That's right. That's why I personally have a problem with liars. Amen, Pastor. I don't like people that lie. That's right, Pastor. The worst thing you can be is be a liar. Yes, sir. Right? Because he, he's the originator yep. of that lie. Yes, he is. And uh, he knows how to do it. Do it sometimes way too well. 
Right. Yes. That's why we as believers must be armed with truth. Yes, sir. And be able to see what the devil is doing. Yep. Right? The Bible says be anxious, but not yeah. Yeah. But in all okay. things with prayer and supplication, okay. let your request be made known to the Lord. Amen. Right? Yep. So, so well, why are you wearing? That's good, Pastor. Yes, why, 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 why are you wearing him? Uh -huh. Because he done showed you an illusion. Yes, sir. Right? The devil show you. The devil show you. That devil lie. The devil. The devil show you that you that you're outside in the cold. You done lost everything. Living by yourself in the woods. <laughs> that's good, Pastor. Yeah. That's, how we do. Me that's right. That's this is how he captivated some of the, yeah. the single people in here. Yeah. You had to be single. Okay. Just like he captivated some of the single. People. <laughs> he showed you a picture that you can be by yourself. You're going to be old by yourself. Everybody can have somebody but you. Decrepit. That's how he shows you that lie. Though. That's how he shows it to you. He shows you the lie that you're going to be by yourself and ain't nobody going to be able to because he wants to give you an illusion Yes, sir. of you holding the pillows by yourself. Yeah. So that way, you'll go out and make a foolish mistake. That's good, Pastor. Yep. And he'll put fear on you. Yeah. And then you'll run out because you believe that lie. Uh-huh. And you got to be able to see him clearly. That he's lying to you. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And so, and so, we, we, this is how he does. He does an illusion. And so, uh, God, uh, for us who know truth, we must keep our eyes on the Lord. Amen. 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 We got to be able to see that devil when he's coming. Yes. Amen. That's why it's imperative, people of God. Uh, you are watching my Facebook live, and, and it's imperative. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, I, I'm not, uh, uh, for an instant, saying anything against anybody's uh, uh, church, anybody's denomination, anybody's pastor, anybody's anything. Mm -hmm. But you got to know for a fact yes. that your watchman has spiritual sight and That's insight. That's right, Pastor. You got to make sure, because he or they are on the wall. That's right. Amen. Amen. And you got to make sure that they can able to see what's going yes. on. Amen. Why? Because the blind will lead the blind. They sure yeah. will. And the both will fall in the ditch. Right. And so I want you to look at this, uh, Sister uh, 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 the Reader, Sierra. <laughs> in, in Isaiah 21. In Isaiah 21, verse uh, 5 through 8. I want you to read, listen to this. That's why you got to have sight. Amen. I have sight. Amen. Prepare the, Go ahead. Prepare the table, set a watchman in the tower, eat and drink. Arise, you princes. Anoint the shield, for thus has the Lord said to me, Go set a watchman, let him declare what he sees. And he saw a chariot with a pair of horsemen, a chariot of donkeys, and a chariot of camels. And he listened earnestly with great care. Then he cried, A lion, my Lord. I stand continually on the watchtower in the daytime. I have sat at my post every night. Mm -hmm. And so, when you have spiritual insight, what looks like something is another person. Mm -hmm. When a person has 20-20, and they have sight that they can see, mm -hmm. they don't go for what's an optical illusion. Yes, sir. They go from spiritual revelation from God. Amen. Because what might look like to you something natural, to a person who has spiritual sight, it looks like something totally different. Amen. Right? And so, yes, the first sir. thing that happened is, listen to this. He said uh, in verse 5, Prepare the table. Prepare the table. And he said, watch in the watchtower. Yep. You've got to have a watchman that's mm -hmm. on guard. That's right. <laughs> he's that's in the right, watchtower. Yeah, right. And so why is the watchman in the watchtower? So he can see when the enemy's coming. That's right. Because oftentimes the enemy will disguise himself. That's right, Pastor. So he must be able to see yeah. yep. what's going on. Mm -hmm. So now once he's in the watchtower... Then he says, you can now eat and drink. Mm -hmm. Go and be the guy. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you, you can relax a little bit. Yeah. Because the watchman is in the watchtower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Right? Because if the watchman is not in the watchtower, and you're so busy eating and drinking, mm -hmm. then oh, you, the enemy can creep up on you and destroy you. That's right, yeah. Pastor. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. You, you've got to watch. It was Gideon. Gideon. Oh, it was like Gideon. Gideon. Yes, who sir. chose the 300 warriors. Yes, sir. And he chose them because he said, uh, God said, well, make them all go down. Go all down to the brook. Mm -hmm. And when they get down to the brook, that person, watch how they drink water. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. And so I imagine Perfect. some of them were tired and some of them were thirsty mm. and they just jumped in the water with right right yeah, yeah, that's it. Was licking up a whole bunch of water. Yeah. And uh and uh he said, Y'all can't go ahead home. That's right. Y- y- y'all can go ahead home because you're so caught up in your own desire that you can't even see what's going on. Yes, yeah. sir. You thirsty, you just in here lapping it up. Look, 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 look. <laughs> You're going to be the first one dead, get everybody else killed. Right. Right. But he said, those who take their hand That's right. and drink from the water with their eyes up. That's right, Pastor. Those are the ones you want to take with you. Amen. And there were 300 ones that drank like that, looking with their eyes up. Yes, what sir. were they looking for? They're looking for the enemy. Enemy. Amen. Yes. Uh, you just don't want a whole bunch of people rain that can't see. That's right. <laughs> That'll get you killed. That's right. Sure will. Right? You, you want somebody it's terrible on the battlefield. That's right, Pat. Here, here Amanda is. So Amanda just got all work. She's tired. She's thirsty. And we're going to try. We've got to get some words there, Sister Teresa. And there she is. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> you can go ahead home. <laughs> Give me somebody that's looking to see what's going yeah. on. Right. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. And so, and so he says, now you can prepare the table. Yes. You can eat and drink and arise and anoint the shield. For thus saith the Lord, go set a watchman. Mm-hmm. Let him declare what he sees. Amen. See what the watchman means. must have vision. Yeah. That's right. And the people must have vision. Yes, sir. And that's why Habakkuk said, write the vision. That's right. And make it plain. Make it plain. That he that readeth might run. That's right. That's right. Although the vision is for an appointed time. That's right. Although it tarries, tarries. wait for it. For it. Mm-hmm. for it shall not tarry. That's right. And so... He must be a visionary. The hardest thing to do is to get people to be visionary. Yes, sir, Pastor. To push people from where they're at yes. to do something great for God. To Amen. give people vision. And that's why I say, uh, if you're in this, this, this church, you're watching, you're in this church, I'm going to drag you to do something. Amen. That's the truth. I'm, I'm going to drag you to do something. You, you, you're going to do it on your feet. Well, you can put it on your side. I'm going to drag you. I'm going to drag you. I mean, no, I got to drag you. Go ahead, Pastor. Because we must be people of purpose. That's right, Pastor. Somebody say, we must be people of purpose. Amen. Amen. We have to be. We're not lazy people. No, but. Amen. We're not people who uh, 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 just sit around and, and just think, well, uh, uh, when I get ready, I'm going to do it when the time. No, we must be people who are ready to work in the kingdom. Amen, of God. Pastor. Amen. That's right. Amen. Why? Because the Bible says that the Spirit of God uh-huh. going to and fro in the earth, yeah. searching and seeking, seeking. who He might show Himself mightily. That's right. We must be in a position of preparedness so that God can Amen. reveal His glory to Amen, His church. Amen, Pastor. Amen. Yes, sir. That's why we got to get ready. We got to be visionary. Right. So He said, "Okay, I got the watchmen in the tower." And he says, and I'm going to let him declare what he sees. And he saw a chariot, uh-huh. a couple of horsemen, yeah. a couple of donkeys, uh-huh. a couple of camels, uh-huh. and he hearkened diligently, which much he, in other words, he procrastinated, he pondered, uh-huh. not procrastinated, he pondered uh-huh. on what he saw. Yeah. And what looked like a bunch of donkeys, chariots, and camels, he cried, a lion! Uh-huh. Now, when has a donkey looked like a lion? <laughs> That's right, man. When have horses looked like a lion? Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> when, when has camels looked like a lion? Yes. He cried from a position of spirituality. And what appeared as an illusion of camels, horses, and donkeys yes. was really a lion, lion. That's right. in the spiritual realm. Yes, there. Oh. Well, you got to be able to see. Amen, Pastor. That's right. You got to be able to see. Yeah. You got to be able to know the difference between that which is of God and that which is of God. That's right. Amen. I wish, amen, I wish, amen, that all y'all in here had eyes that can see. Amen. And can not only see, but can see spiritually. Spiritually. And can see afar off, up close. And you can be able to see what the enemy's trying to do. Yes, sir. Uh, You got to be able to see it before it even happens. You already know that the Bible says we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. That's right. Illusion yes, sir. and fear. He paints a picture. I want you to believe it. He tells you, oh, oh, you, you, you ain't going to for that job. You ain't going to get it. <laughs> you might as well just stay there. You're going to always be poor. 
Oh no. You, you might dang for you. Mm -mm. And if you can't mm -hmm. see your future and understand what God says, God says you should be the head and not the tail. That's right. You should be from above, above. Not, not beneath. Yeah. You shall be the lender. Not, not the bar. Yes, sir. Right? These are the promises that God made us. Amen. Right? But the enemy can keep you locked yes. in the poverty. Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. He can keep you locked yeah. in the thinking you're not worthy yes, to get sir. all that God has for you. Yeah. But the devil is a liar. Yeah. Right? Amen. Right? They used to trick the church years ago. And I'm not a, 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 a prosperity preacher. I believe that this is what I do believe. I believe that if you do what you're supposed to do for the kingdom, yes, sir. then God will not withhold no good thing. No right. good thing for them to right. walk up right before. That's yeah. right, Pastor. I believe Amen. that He'll supply all your needs, all not your wants, yeah. all your needs according to His wisdom. Amen. Amen. God will always make sure you got food on the table. Yeah. He'll always make sure you got clothes on your back. Always. He'll always make sure that you got a home to live in. That's yeah. right. God will always take care of His people. Amen. Amen. That's what I do believe. Yeah. I believe now, it. Now, is everybody going to be millionaires? No. No. I would have. Jesus yep. said, the poor you have what you always. That's right. right. That man ain't going to be rich. Uh -uh. Some of us couldn't handle being rich. Right. Right. Some trouble. Being rich, all that money, uh, all them nice yeah. clothes and finer yeah. things. All Sister Teresa reason. and that Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> all of us. Sister Teresa had gone down church street in a Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> she went right. past the church, gone somewhere shopping. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> amen. And so, amen. He said, Now, this is what I see. I see a lion. My Lord, this is what the watchman does. I stand continually upon the watchtower in the daytime, and I am set in my ward whole nights. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Sister Lisa. Um, I have a question. Mm -hmm. But in verse 7, it says, Then I said, Who is this that at the end of it, he said he hearkened diligently with much mm -hmm. So that means he was listening carefully, right? He was watching, he was listening. Mm -hmm. So he right. could get insight okay. on what he really saw. Right. What it really Yes, sir. Because a lot of times, mm -hmm. you ever seen a movie? You ever seen a movie? And uh, uh, <laughs> the, the man, it always starts in the desert. Mm -hmm. And some kind of way, the man finds himself, or the woman finds herself in the desert. Mm -hmm. And in the desert, they find themselves without water. Uh -huh. And because uh, they don't have no water, all of a sudden their, their, their life is going out of them. Yeah. And they're getting thirsty and thirsty. Yeah. Then all of a sudden oasis. they'll see an oasis. Yeah, oasis right. out there. In the middle of the desert. Right. All these trees, the shade, and this water. And then they'll break out running. Right. That's right. What's wrong And then one? when they get there, they realize it was just a mirage. That's right. That's what I love. Their mind tricked them. Yeah. And it wasn't what they really yeah. thought that it was. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I had the opportunity to see that fishing one day. Seriously. Mm -hmm. I was out in the middle of Delaware Bay, and I had Billy and I had Joe Evans with me. And I'm sitting there fishing away, but it was getting hot. I hadn't drank anything. And I looked down, I think, I don't know if I spoke to Billy, which one first, but I says, guys, the island's right out there. And here I'm seeing this island in the middle. I know it wasn't there because I've fished it so many times. But that's what I saw, an oasis in the middle of the bay. Wow. wow. And I had to get me some water because I was about ready to go under. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. And, so, and so, in other words, <clears throat> whatever happened to your brain, the signal to your eyes yeah. was incorrect. Yeah, I so you could have been right on the point of almost a uh, uh, heat stroke. Yeah, that's, yes, sir. And uh, and uh, and for it sent a bad signal to your eyes like that. I thought more about this. I thought more. That's how my mind is. I thought more to the point of of uh, being in relationship, mm -hmm. and then you think you got an oasis. Uh -huh. And then by time, some time get by, and you really get close to it, then you realize it's oh, just yes. a rod. Yeah, yeah, it's a mirage. That's good. That's how my mind works. And I think we can all deal with that. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Somebody say amen. 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 That's good. Yeah. That was yeah. It was an illusion. Yeah. They, they did a sleight of hand. Yeah. Right. That's probably what they do on Facebook. Yes. Amen. I got to stay on y'all level. Okay. Amen. Here's question number one. 
Have you ever looked at a situation and made your judgment but found out it wasn't what you thought or they wasn't what you thought or what you saw? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes? You have? Mm -hmm. You want to say it? Share it? What it was? Fast relationship. Fast relationship. Yeah. It was a See now, so 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 here's how an illusion works. An illusion has to take your focus off the real thing. Mm -hmm. So cunningly, they can present something to you to trigger your mind mm -hmm. to uh, make you think that it's something that is not real. Mm -hmm. And so people have the proclivity of showing themselves. That's why uh, nothing wrong with it uh, for y'all. Uh, I'm glad I don't have to do it now. And uh, I pray the Lord that I never have to worry about it. My wife's going to outlive me. But I probably would be a hermit. Because, number one, a lot of people want to do online dating. Uh, and that's the number one way to get yourself deceived. Yeah, believe it. <laughs> you can be deceived up close. But online, because a person's only going to show you what they want you to see. Right. They're only going to tell you what they want you that's to good hear. Passion. Right? And so, and so then all of a sudden... All of a sudden, all of a sudden, you find out that, wow, I found out that this wasn't really what it's supposed to be. That's it right. was an illusion. Yes, sir. Right? It was an illusion. Yes, sir. And so that's why, amen, you've got to make sure that you see clearly through the illusion. Because people will portray themselves to be one thing and be something totally different. Yes, sir. My Lord. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. I know I'm talking right. Okay. Have you ever looked at a situation... And based upon you looking at what you saw, you made your judgment. But later on found out that it wasn't what you really thought that you saw. You saw it, you made a judgment. But then later you found out it wasn't really like that. Whether it be good or bad. Reminds me of the story of the tribe of Benjamin that have the tribe of Manasseh. Yes. As they were on this side of the river. And the rest of the tribes were on this side of the river. And they went back and said, did you see what they're doing on this side of the river? They done built an altar. And they said, they're not only supposed to be one altar in Israel. They must be building an altar to worship false gods. Uh -huh. They said, their sin is going to cause us to sin. And so they said, we're going to go to war with them on that side of the river and get them straight. And they were almost ready to go to war. And then they said, why are y'all fighting against us? They said, because you got an altar. They said, no, no, no. We built that altar in case something would happen. We're so far on the other side of the river and say something would happen to the altar over there. Then we would have an altar to worship the great God of glory. Amen. Amen. So what they saw was it really what they perceived that it to yes, be? Yes, sir. Amen. And we do that sometimes with people. See, yes, we don't judge them. We don't judge them. Yes, sir. Right? We yep. judge them. Yep. We judge them. We look at people sometimes yes, sir. from the character of their face. Sometimes yeah. we say, they mean. <laughs> no, they mean. <laughs> no, they mean. <laughs> and it could be sometimes just where people just look. Yeah. Right. Yes, sir. Who, who's ever done that? I'm sure. <laughs> well, we look at people and perceive something about them that's not true. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. By the way they look. Right. Here's one of the things. Here's one of the things that makes me mad every time I, I think about it because it's crazy when you think about it, right? Somebody was on the ship, and they said, "And uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. And uh, you know what I'm talking about. You and you, and you know what I'm talking about." They were on the ship. So on the ship, they were on a cruise, and they they made a decision, a judgment based upon this woman that they saw on the ship, and the woman on the ship. Had on a nice long jean skirt, mm -hmm. and she had on a nice long white blouse. Huh? And they said, "Oh, I know right well. She was in the holiness. <laughs> Based on the way that she was dressed, I know she was saved. She knew the Lord." Yeah, come on, Pastor. <laughs> come on. Based upon what the woman had on. Mm -hmm. Then later on, they went into the dining even the same woman was in there. With a drink and a hand pulling down the slot. <laughs> 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 right. I know, that's right, Pastor. All right. Yeah. You know, I have to play tricks on you. Yeah. <laughs> that's good, Pastor. Because you can't judge nobody based upon what they got on. That's right. 
That's another story. Yeah. Another story. Another day. Another story. Another day. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's an illusion. That's an illusion. It sure is. That's an illusion. That's good, Pastor. One on band. One on band. An illusion diverts your attention away from that which is really happening. And this is what the devil does. He makes something that is not real appear real mm -hmm. to divert your attention away from following the Lord. That's right. That's true. He'll Amen. take something small as a grain of salt and make it into a mountain. Yes, yes sir. Yes. If you listen to him long enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want you to look at the story of Joseph. The story of Joseph in um, Genesis chapter 37. Uh, let's see here. Sister Teresa is going to read that for us. This is 37, 31 through 34. We're going to read that and we're going to talk about this story. Because really it's an illusion. This happened. 37 and uh, verse uh, 31 through 34. So they took Joseph's tunic, killed a kid of the goat, and dipped the tunic in the blood. Then they sent the tunic of many colors, and they brought it to their father and said, We have found it. Do you know whether it is your son's tunic or not? And he recognized it and said, It is my son's tunic. A wild beast has devoured him. Without doubt, Joseph is torn to pieces. Then Jacob tore his clothes, put sackcloth on his waist, and mourned for his son many days. Amen. And Sister uh, Kai is going to read 35 and 36. And all his sons and all his daughters rose up to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted. And he said, For I will go down to the grave unto my son mourning. Thus his father wept for him. And the many knights sold him into Egypt unto Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh's and captain of the guard. Yes, and so a couple of things are going on in this story. Yes, uh, all y'all know the story of Joseph. The one thing that Joseph had, that some of us had, that Joseph was a dreamer. Right. Yeah. And when you're a dreamer, when you're a dreamer, that means that you have vision. Yes. And when you're a dreamer, instantly, people won't like you when you're a dreamer. Yes, sir. Because when you're a dreamer, you're able to see yourself being elevated. Mm -hmm. You're able to see yourself walking into the things that God has for you. You're a dreamer. You dream and know that God has something for me. Yes, you dream and know that God, if I could just hold on to God, God's going to take me somewhere. That's right. right. So he was a dreamer. And uh, people, his brothers hated him because he was a dreamer. And they wanted to stop him from being a dreamer. And so in verse 31, I want you to see this. This is what they did. They took him and they threw him in a pit mm -hmm. and then sold him into slavery. Now I told you the devil... He lies, and he sends illusions, and he brings fear. So the first thing that they did was that they took his coat of many colors, and they killed a goat, and they took the blood, and they dipped the blood on the coat. This is an illusion, because it's going to paint a picture in his father's mind. That's how the devil deals with us. He deals with us through our mind. So he's got to paint a picture in your mind. And so he says, uh, they said unto him, uh, the blood never was Joseph, but it was real blood. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Real blood. The coat was his. Mm -hmm. And so he made a decision to base his action on something that was an illusion. Yeah. What he said. And they took uh, the blood and then they sent the coat of many colors and brought it to the father. And said, this have we found. Another lie. Mm -hmm. This coat have we found. No, now, we don't know whether it be thy son's coat or no. We found this coat. But we don't really know if it is our brother's coat or not. 
They're painting a picture. Yes, sir. And it's a picture full of lies. Yes, sir. Right. Because now they got to paint an illusion to get a a, a, a a thought from the Father. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. They knew that it wasn't his blood. Mm -hmm. And they knew it was his coat. Because they were jealous of his coat. Right. Yes. Right? They knew and they had a plan. Yes. And so he says, uh, and uh, thy son's coat or no, and he knew it. And uh, it made their father say, it's my son's coat. And it is my son's coat and an evil beast has devoured him. Yes. So he made the conclusion because of the coat, the animal's blood, and their lie that his son was dead. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. Yes, sir. He made it. And that's how the devil does it. Mm -hmm. He'll paint you a picture. Yes. Right. And he'll tell you a lie. Mm -hmm. And you'll believe that your promises are dead. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 You believe, amen, amen, that what God told you is dead. Uh huh. Amen. You believe what God said He was going to do for you no longer exists uh -huh. because the enemy is a liar. Yes. Right. And he'll lie to you and he'll tell you it ain't going to happen. That's right. And he'll present illusion ideas to make you think it ain't going to happen. Let me bring it down to your turn. Let me bring it to your turn. Here's what the devil will do. God promised you. God promised you. That he's going to raise you up. Yes. And God promised you that he's going to put you in a house. God promised you, amen, that you was going to be, amen, walking in the things of God. Yes. Sir. And here's what the enemy do. The enemy will send you an eviction notice. That's good. That's how he does. Yeah. You're paying an illusion. Mm -hmm. Trying to deter you from the promises of God. Yes, sir. Because he's alive. Yeah. And he'll paint a picture. Right. And he'll make you think, huh. I know I paid my rent or my mortgage last month. I know I paid it. Did I not pay it? And he'll have you believing that you didn't pay it when you know that you paid it. Yes, sir. Because he pays an illusion. Yes. That's how he is. And so he made him come up with an idea and say, well, he's dead. He's dead. And he rent his clothes and put sackcloth on his loins and he mourned. And he mourned and uh, he cried and he said, he's gone. Yeah. His own sons presented some true and some false evidence. And that's how it sounds like the devil. Mm -hmm. give you a little bit of truth yep. and a whole bunch oh, of lies. lies. Yeah. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Which caused him to make his own assumption. Yes. <laughs> he assumed uh -huh. that his son was dead. Uh, yes, Pastor. He assumed what he saw is over. Mm -hmm. That's why we don't walk by sight. That's right. We walk by faith. faith. Amen. Because sometimes your mm -hmm. sight will lie to you. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the devil will try to get you looking at what he's showing you mm -hmm. rather than looking at the word of God, amen. which we know all the promises in him are yea and in him are amen. 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 Yeah, he has a way. He has a way to make you make assumptions. Here's the yes. biggest assumption we make as people of God. God doesn't care. That's one. Lord, name. don't you care? Yeah. God must just want me to have it. That's good, Pastor. God don't want me to have that. God, mm -hmm. God ain't really for me. What have I done? One of the biggest assumptions that we'll make is that, well, it ain't happened by yet. I guess it ain't going to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That ain't for me. I guess it's not for me. That's good, Pastor. But faith says it's not happening yet. That's yeah. right. Yet. Yet. But I'm going to believe the Lord. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. No matter what the enemy is showing me. Yes, sir. I've got the evidence. That's right. He's showing me an illusion. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I've got the real evidence. Amen. And the real evidence. Evidence is down on the inside. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 Uh, you've got to have this thing deep down on the inside. Amen. You've got to have this deep down on the inside. Amen. And you've got to have the word of God living in you so richly. Yeah. That when the yeah. devil paints you an illusion, you can take the word of God and beat back the works of the Amen. enemy. Amen. You've got to tell that enemy, oh Amen. no, devil, you are lying, the father of all lies. Amen. For I know whom I have believed. 
Amen. I am more than persuaded. Amen. Everybody persuaded that God is able. Amen. Amen. I am persuaded. Yes. I am persuaded. Amen. See, Amen. Your own eyes will trick you. Yeah. That's the truth. <laughs> oh, the old eyes will lie to you. Yeah. That's why the just shall live by faith. By faith. Amen. Amen. Faith. I'm going to hold on to God by faith. Yep. We've got to move from carnality yeah. and move into spirituality. Yes, sir. We've got to stop yeah. allowing the devil to paint pictures. Yes. To cause us to stay stuck. In a position that God never meant for us to be in. Amen. 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 That's right. He'll paint a picture. And only you can break free from the picture. Amen. Oh, yes. You've got to talk to that demon. I'm hey. going to listen to me. That's right. You've got to Come talk on. to that demon. Yes, sir. you got to tell that demon, devil, you're a liar. Amen. As a matter of fact, get out of my mind. Amen. For the Pastor. word of God tells me to resist you. You got to That's resist. right. Amen. So in the name of Jesus Christ, get out of my That's mind. That's right. You, my mind. you have no ability to be on my mind. Amen. And every lie that you speak, you speak of yourself. Yes. But I believe the Lord. Amen. Yeah. And I'm trusting in the living God. Amen, yeah. Pastor. See, this is the year I told the church. This is the year that we're going to have to move from believing yes. into trusting God. Yeah. We have to trust Amen. God with every aspect of our life. Right. Every Amen, Pastor. Amen. We have to trust Him with everything. That's right. Yeah. That means you're going to have to lay outside the weight and every sin that easily right. besets us. That means, amen, that we've got to get our own marble out of the way, your brain out of the way. Amen. <laughs> Some things just don't make sense. Yeah. Some things wow. just don't add up. That's right. But when I can trust in the Lord, amen. I know that He's more for me than the whole world. Amen. Amen. We, we believe God enough to, to get baptized and get the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. we, we believe enough for that. Yes. Right? We uh -huh. believe him. Amen. Good. God touched us. Yes. Amen. We got baptized. Amen. And then the Lord touched us. And we hollered, Shaka Maranda, Hula Mahanda. Who's Honda? <laughs> and then soon as things got tight, yeah. soon as things got a little heavy, as soon as things got a little hard, we begin to fall back a little bit. Right, right. We begin to, amen, not, amen. we begin to say, hey, I, I, I don't know about this. God ain't going to do it. I don't think God going to do it. Don't you know that without faith, it's impossible, it's impossible. to believe, to believe God? Amen. He that come to God must first to believe amen. He is God. Amen. Yes. And that he's a reward yes. of them that believe. believe. That's right. So the devil causes us to give up. Amen. Right in the middle of of us almost getting our blessing. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right? Because we don't trust God enough yeah. that he's able to do it. Yeah. That's right. But God has done some things to us in here, some of us in here today, who have moved from just believing. That's right. Uh, but we're living trusting. Amen. Trusting with my heart. Amen. Trusting with my life. Yeah. Trust him to provide for me. Yes. Trust in the Lord. And then, amen. And so we've got to we've got to get our eyes yes, on the problem. Yeah. You mean to tell me you ain't looking at this thing right? <laughs> you mean to tell me that if God fed the birds? Come on, come on, Pastor. <laughs> the birds. Yeah. Yeah. And He ain't gonna take care of you. <laughs> All right. Amen. He told the lilies. That's right. Who don't work. Uh -uh. Don't toil. No. And he ain't going to clothe you. Come on. Thank you, Lord. That's our God. That's You're looking at this thing through yeah. wrong lenses. Right. Yeah. Right. And they got on the ship and the storm blew. Yeah, it did. They said, Father, Lord, don't you care that we perish? Yeah. <laughs> sure, he cares that you perish. That's right. Yeah. That's why he's on board. Right. Amen. Amen. That's right. The way that we look at things is the way that our mind is yes, we Amen. believe. Amen. Yes, sir. It's how we believe. And so, whose report? Nobody heard the Holy Ghost say. Who report? 
Oh, you're going to believe. Amen. Oh, the Lord, you, you're going to have to believe somebody's report. That's right. And you're going to have to choose which report you believe. Sure. Amen. I believe the report of the Lord. Amen. I believe what the Lord said. Amen. I believe what he said. Amen. 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 God. I got a little bit to go here. Uh, glory. Just getting all going here. Amen. I don't want y'all looking through the wrong lenses. <laughs> Every promise that he made you, your promise isn't there. That's right, Pastor. The devil painted that picture. Yep. Yeah. The Lord told you he was going to bless you. Yeah. Sure did. It yeah. ain't came to pass yet. Uh -huh. And the devil done called you to give up. Yes. <laughs> no. Believing and trusting in God. Yeah. Yeah. God was just about to give it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Here comes the devil painting an illusion. Yeah. Yeah. And you might miss it. Mm. In the name of the Lord. That's good, Pastor. He's using that to put fear on you. Yes. Yeah. To cause you to go out and commit something that you know you shouldn't be doing. That's right, Pastor. Right. Yeah. Amen. To cause you to go out and put the cart before the horse. Yes. Yeah. Don't you know that more people depend upon people than they depend upon God? That's right. I want you to know that. That's good. As soon as something goes wrong, they run to man. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. right? Could you imagine if something went wrong, you ran to the Lord? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How Amen. God will make a way for you. He will make a way. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Yeah. Every little ache and pain, we run to the doctor. That's right. All they do is lie, give you more medicine, tie your body down. Yeah. You know. You know. Yeah. I don't trust it. <laughs> you know, here's what I do believe. Because I trust the Lord. Amen. I, believe, I was in so much pain. Yes, sir. Let me tell you why I was in so much pain. I was in so much pain from my back and this nerve, pinched nerve. And so I got an MRI, and I found out why I was in so much pain. I was in so much pain because I don't have one pinched nerve, I got two. Mm. And I got two discs on my neck sitting on two separate nerves. Uh -huh. And that's why I was in so much pain. Notice I said was in so much pain. Uh -huh. Amen. Because, and I still got the numbness in my hand. But I do believe this. I do believe that God's going to heal me. I believe that the Lord is going to heal me. That's right, that's the Lord spoke these words to me. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. That's right. But I, the Lord, shall deliver you out of them all. Oh. I know. I Amen, Pastor. God's going to heal me. Yes, sir. God's going to heal me. That's Amen. my God's going to heal me. Amen. I believe it, Pastor. He heal me. I don't got to wait till he heal me to shout. That's All right. right. Amen. I can stop right now. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I can Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. 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 this thing to fruition. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I'm already healed. Amen. That's right. But my body don't know. No, it is it's just, yeah. I've got to continue to speak to this body. Yeah. Amen. And tell this body, you're already here. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's faith. That's right, Pastor. That's trust Amen. in Amen. That's right. That's believing God. Yes, sir. In the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. That can have an illusion. Uh -huh. Woe is me. Woe is I'm me. I'm always be like this. The devil is alive. That's right. Amen. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not going to always be like this. Uh-uh. Amen. Amen. Uh-uh. Your dreams yes. aren't dead. They're just being fulfilled. Perfect. That's right. Joseph was a dreamer. Yes, he was. And they thought they killed the dream. Uh -huh. But it was just being prepared. Hallelujah. Because God knew a famine would come in the land. Yeah. So he yeah. took the dream and put the dreamer in the house of Pharaoh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And when he put him in the house of Pharaoh, he used them and raised them up. Sure did. So that when Israel would come down was about to die, God had a plan for him sitting in Egypt yeah. that they would be fed of yeah. the Lord. Yeah. God had the plan. The dream wasn't dead. Yeah. It was just being worked on and fulfilled. Yeah. Yeah. God yeah. has a dream. Yeah. Who's got a dream in here? Don't you let the devil's illusion kill your dream. That's right, Pastor. It hasn't come to pass yet. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. God yeah. is just working on it. Yeah. Yeah. Get ready to bring it to fruition. Yeah. In the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Where my dreamers at? Amen. 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 I'm not talking about you ate a cold pizza last night. <laughs> <laughs> Pepperoni and anchovies. Oh, man. Good. And then you had a nightmare. 
Oh, now you dreaming, amen, of visions of things floating around your head. Oh my goodness. I ain't talking about them type of dreams. I'm talking about those who see visions in the night hour. God is giving you a dream that you ready to do something great for the kingdom. God is showing you he's ready to bring you out. He's showing that your promises are coming to pass. I'm talking about them type of dreams. That God will show you something. And when he shows it to you, he'll illuminate it. Amen. 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 I'm talking about that type of dream. Amen. Amen. Some of us in here right now, God has showed us some things that came to pass. Amen, Pastor. God ever showed you something that came to pass? Yeah. Amen. 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 God showed you something to come to pass. Yeah. Just tell the Lord right now, thank you. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank Amen. You, Lord. Thank you. Yeah. My dreams aren't dead. That's Amen. right, Pastor. Fulfilled. Don't let bad news and anxiety cause you to jump to conclusion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like Jacob did. That's good, Pastor. Yeah. He let his anxiety and his bad news cause him to jump to a conclusion. It's over. Mm -hmm. That ain't for me. He's dead. Mm -hmm. The devil always will paint a false picture. Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah. That is not true. That's mm -hmm. right. He's a liar. Yeah. What do you expect a liar to do but to lie? But yeah. Yeah. Right? He's going to lie. Yes, yeah. sir. He's going to fight you every step of the way. Yeah. Come on, Pat. Even when it come to pass. Yeah. He's going to tell you, y'all heard this, I heard this the other day, I didn't yeah. let y'all go, but I heard this the other day, that, uh, that a woman, and y'all might have heard this too, but I thought it was funny, that it was a woman, and uh, she prayed to the Lord that the Lord would send her some groceries. And her next door neighbor was an atheist. Mm -hmm. And he heard her pray that prayer. Mm -hmm. So he went out and brought some groceries and knocked on the door and hid in the bushes. Ah. And as he hid in the bushes, she came to the door and grabbed the groceries. And when she grabbed the groceries, he said, she said, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. He said, aha, uh -huh. I got you. Wow. I got you. Yeah. I bought those groceries. God didn't bring them groceries because God don't exist. God don't exist. He don't exist. And she said, Lord, I thank you. Because I believe God did it. Yeah. Amen. God did it. Amen. God did it. God did this thing. God did it. Amen, Pastor. And the man right. said, Lady, are you crazy? Did you hear me tell you that I went and brought those groceries and God didn't do it? He don't exist. There is no God. She said, Huh? God did it. Yes, he did. Yes, God did it. And he used the devil to do it. <laughs> He'll use the devil sometime. Yeah, he will. He'll use the devil to bless you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, He'll use the devil to bless you. Uh, yeah, you got to raise on that job for that mean boss. Yeah, he used the devil to do it. He used the devil to do it. God did it. He'll make a way for you. The devil desires to get your attention, he desires to fill you off course. He desires, amen, to cause you to fall. Mm -hmm. In Matthew 14, we get ready to go in Matthew 14. He's got to get your attention right. by painting you illusion. Yes, sir. He's got to get your attention, amen, by, by, by showing you something that's not right because he's a liar. Amen. In Matthew 14 and verse, uh, uh, Brother Mike 22 through, uh, let's see here, 22 through 25. And then uh, Brother Marcus is going to read uh, 26 through 33. And then we're going to go home. I want you to listen to this. Amen. And straight away, Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship mm -hmm. and go before him unto the other side. Mm -hmm. While he set, set the multitude away. And when he had sent the multitude away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. Mm -hmm. And in the fourth watch 
of the night, Jesus went unto them, mm -hmm. walking on the sea. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes, sir. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out in fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, <clears throat> unto them saying, Be of good cheer. <coughs> it is I. Be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were coming to the ship, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, mm -hmm. saying, of a truth, thou art the Son of God. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now, sir, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Jesus put them on a mission. I'm going to sum this up. He put them on a mission. And he perfectly stayed behind. Mm -hmm. And then as they're on their own, they think, here comes a storm. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said that the wind was contrary to them. Yes, the sir. waves and the wind was contrary. In other words, they were struggling. Mm -hmm. Trying to get across the sea. Mm -hmm. And then here comes Jesus in the fourth watch. Right when they thought nothing was going to happen. Right before the dawning of a new day. Here comes Jesus. Walking on water. Yeah. He defied natural uh, uh, nature itself. Yeah. Uh, as a man, but 100% God, here comes Jesus walking on water. Right? So he walks on water to the ship to them. And when they saw them, the rest of the disciples in the ship, they were terrified. Yeah. They were terrified. But there was one called Peter. And Peter said, Lord, if that be you, bid me to come on on the water. Yeah. Yeah. And Jesus laid down one word. Come. Come. One word. Yep. One. Come. Come. Yes, sir. And Peter stood on that word. Mm -hmm. Sure did. And as he stood on that word, Peter began to walk toward Jesus. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. And when the devil saw him walking on water. Yeah. Glory to God. The, the devil Lord. says, now I got a pain and illusion. Yes. Uh -huh. And I've got to get his attention. Yep. Because he's walking on what? Now the rest of the disciples are in the boat shaking. Oh, they 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 terrified. They scared to death. Yeah. Uh -huh. They scared. Yes, right? Man. And you can't be scared to serve God. No. Yeah. They're scared. But Peter had enough faith in him to say, bid me to come. That's right. And so as they're shaking, the devil said, I got a pain and illusion. And the Bible says, here come the wind boistering. Yes. That's right. And it got Peter's attention. Uh-huh. And he took his eyes off Jesus. That's right. And put it on the illusion of the wind. Yes. And when he put it on the illusion of the wind, he began to sink. Yes. Amen. And as he began to sink, he cried out to the Lord. Yes. And the Lord stretched forth his hand and grabbed him uh -huh. and pulled him up. Right. Which means he walked close enough to be in hands lift of the Lord, yeah. and the devil oh. tricked him right when he right was right there. Yeah. That's how the devil does it. Yes, he will That's trick good. you right when you're close yes, sir. of touching the Lord. Yeah. Amen. And then the Bible, says, the Bible says, the Bible says that he took him. He said, "Save me!" Jesus stretched forth his hand, mm -hmm. caught him, and said, "Oh, thou of little faith, where did you doubt?" He doubted it because he got caught up with the yes, illusion sir. of the wind. Right. Rather than keeping his eyes on the Lord. Right. People of God, amen. If we want to let our eyes see and paint a picture in our minds, we got to keep our eyes amen, on the Lord. Amen, Pastor, yeah. Keep your eyes on the Lord. Amen. So here's what happened. Here's what blows my mind. Here's what blows my mind. Here's what happened. Immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou little faith, uh -huh. wherefore did thou doubt? Now. And when they yes. were coming to the ship, yes, sir. How did Peter get back into the ship? Uh -huh. He walked. walked. That's right. Back with the Lord. Uh -huh. But on his way to the Lord, he took his eyes off of him. Now Jesus got a hold of him, yeah. and he's walking on water back to the boat. Yes, sir. Now here goes Malik, uh, 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 brother. Uh, um, um, Kevin, brother uh, uh, Domingo, uh, brother Fred, uh, sister uh, uh, Natalie, 
Sister Beverly. And uh, 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 sister, I think your wife, uh, Brother Marcus. Uh, 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 sister Latasha. Uh, uh, Twelve of y'all. Y'all pick what 11 y'all what me. The rest of 11 of y'all. Now here y'all are still in the booth. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And when Jesus and Peter walk back to the booth, the Bible says that they that were in the ship That's right. came and worshipped him, said of a truth, thou art the Son of God. Yeah. Wouldn't it be amazing that all 12 of them would have got out the boat and walked, yes, and walked on the water Amen. and worshipped Jesus out on the water Amen. and said, thou art the Son of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah, that would be great. Yes, sir. You got to have that get out of the boat thing. That's right. That's right. You got to keep your eyes on the Lord. Yes, sir. Amen. Put your trust if you would have them be able to see it. That's good, Pastor. And not get an uh, optical illusion by the devil. Here yes. is a prescription from the optometrist. Yeah. What's the name of my friend? Optometrist. Optometrist. Thank you. Here's a Ophthalmologist is a guy that brain surgeon. Yeah, we need one of them too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, here's what we got to do. Here's what we got to do. In order to keep yourself out of optical illusion, you've got to get your prescription. Man, that's right. your prescription. Who that? Jesus. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Here's what you got to do. Here's what you got to do. Oh, y'all listen to me. Yes, sir. You've got to keep your eyes yes. on the Lord. Amen. If you can keep your eyes on the Lord, You'll walk on water. That's right. Yeah. You'll defy yes. human nature. I believe human it, Pastor. Human nature. Human nature. You will defy the laws of logic. Yes, Pastor. And you can just keep your eyes on the Lord. Amen. And I can keep your eyes on the Lord. Amen. The devil can't trick you if you just keep your eyes on the That's Lord. That's right. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We thank the Lord. Amen. For all that the Lord is doing. Yeah. Amen. Thank you for his goodness. Amen. 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 That's the part you don't pop suit. We gotta keep our eyes on the Lord. Amen. The Spirit and the Bride say, "Come." That's right. Jesus, come unto me, all you are laboring, heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. He said, "Just come." That's right. Just come. Revelation. He said, "Come and die." God just wants you to come. That's right, Pastor. Right? You just got to come unto him. Hallelujah. But keeping your eyes upon him. Yes. Yes. Because the closer you get to God, mm. the more the wind's going to boast. Oh, my the yes. more the illusion the devil going to try to show you. Don't you oh, know it's the closer you get to God, yep. Amen. the more the enemy going to yep. stir up. That's right, Pastor. That's right. But the further you're away from God, the devil don't, don't do bother nothing. You a bit. But the moment you take a step towards God, Amen. and the moment you get close to God, yeah. then here come the devil. Here in the name of the Lord. That's why I got my eyes on the Lord. Amen. 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 Let's stand in the name of the Lord. Y'all watching my Facebook live. Amen. You don't want to miss. Oh, bless you, Sister Darling. You don't want to miss. Amen. You want to miss Sunday. Sunday service. God has put up in my heart this year. Amen. Put my heart. Amen. For us to move. Move from believing to trusting. Trusting. Amen. Amen. God Pastor. to move us on Sunday. Amen. Somebody going to another level. Amen. Amen. Who wants to go to another level? Yes, Lord. Somebody going to another level. Amen. Yes, another level. Amen. Amen. And I guarantee you, after Sunday, you will not be the same. Amen. Somebody going to be elevated Amen. to another level of trust. Here's what's going to happen when you move to another level, of, another, another level of trust. Here's what's going to happen. Some folk will fall off. Yes, Glory to God. Uh -huh. Some folk that's been doing some stuff for you, and you thought they were just doing it out of kindness of uh -huh. their heart, uh -huh. but no, they were doing it because they wanted to be the God in your life. Yes, uh -huh. sir, Pastor. Right. But now you're not going to have to look towards them. You're going to look to the hill. Hey. What's coming right. to your help? That's right. When your help comes from the Lord, Amen. 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 So heaven and earth. Some people going to fall off because you're not calling them as much. Right. You're not depending upon them as much. That's right, Pastor. Yeah. Why? Because I moved to another level. Yes. I moved from just believing yes. to trusting God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Trusting God. Somebody get ready to move. Amen. Somebody get ready to move. Yeah. Amen. 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 I'm ready to move to another level of God. Amen. Amen. And your haters going to hate. Oh, yes. But God's going to place an anointing on them. Yeah. Yeah. I heard the Holy Ghost say this. 
when God placed the anointing on you, mm -hmm. before you even ask, uh -huh. God gonna already know, oh, already yes. know. and God gonna do it before you ask. Oh, 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 Somebody oh, shout right there. Before you pray, before you pray and ask, God's gonna already do it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's gonna already do it. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Already do it, amen. Why? Because I'm trusting in the Lord, yes, sir. I'm trusting in God. Yes. Y'all can keep on believing all you want. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I'm, I'm trust trusting in God. Amen. 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 I'm going to give you your prescription on tonight. Yeah, that's right. Amen. And I'm going to do something on you. All right. To correct your vision. Amen, Pastor. In the name of the Lord. Squeeze that hand. Yeah. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, for Thank you, Thank you for your word. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for your power. Thank you, Lord. Order my steps in your word. Keep me from the evil. Or hurt, harm, and danger. Thank you. Allow me to be focused back on you again. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you. Jesus, hallelujah. That you allow me to put my eyes back on you again, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, God, you have corrected my vision. Yes, oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, anoint us afresh, hallelujah. And cause us to prosper. Thank you, Jesus. And to be in good health. Thank you, Jesus. Even as our soul prospers. Yes, God. For I see me being healed. I see me being delivered. I see me, God, being whole again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hey, God, hallelujah. Jesus. Hey, God, I see me coming out. I see me with a praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. my lips. Yes, Lord. You've given us the victory. Jesus, thank you, Lord. In the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Keep my eyes upon you. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Keep me focused. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Lord. Squeeze that hand. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The hands that are holding. Yes, God. Hallelujah. I press in that hand. Hallelujah. Your glory, The spirit of eternal God. Yes, Lord. I press in that hand. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Power and authority. I press in that hand. Thank you, Lord. Did they get the breakthrough, God? That you promised them. God, I know, God. Hallelujah. That your word is true. Yes, Heal their body. Heal their mind. Heal their sight. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, God, I know what you placed in me. Squeeze that hand. I know what you placed in me. And God, I loose it right now to find them. Hallelujah. Jesus. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, I loose it upon them. Yes, and I give you glory. Thank you, Lord. For the anointing us upon our life. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Now loose that hand and give God a hand. Yes.
Father, we thank you. Hallelujah, God. Give us safe travel and mercy. We travel back home. Protect us. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Cover us under the blood. Yes, God. Hey, God. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, glory. Hallelujah. We give you praise and honor. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. God. Shift us Thank you, Jesus. from believing to trusting. Yes. yes. In the name yes, of the Lord. God. Hallelujah. We'll give you all the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All the glory shall be done. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Amen